I'm Heidi. I'm Rowan. I'm Lily. And today we're going to teach you about directional terms. So I'm going to work with Lucy. This is Lucy and also Lily and Taylor to teach you about some of the directional terms used in anatomy. Anatomy has its very own language and it's very much like learning a foreign language. If you haven't already watched the regional terms video, there's a link underneath this one and that one goes really well with this video as well. There's also a link to a document in the description of the video that you can print out and it's just a place to take notes as you watch this video so you can process it. If you would rather just save a copy of the handout in your Google Drive and then fill it out electronically, you can totally do that as well. Look at the organizer and you'll notice that all of the terms are in pairs. So they're with their opposite. Anterior and posterior are opposites. Ventral and dorsal are opposites superficial and deep. The reason I have Lily and Rowan today is that these terms work differently on bipeds. So Lily represents a biped, two legs. Show me your two legs. She's a human. Whereas Rowan represents a quadruped. How many legs does a quadruped have? Four legs, four legs. One, two, three, four. And so Rowan today is playing the role of a kitty cat, but she could be a horse or a dog or a cow or a guinea pig or a turtle. Basically, any vertebrate that doesn't walk on two legs is going to be a quadruped. Elephants. We're going to start with posterior versus anterior. So this is Lucy's posterior. Posterior means after. Or post means after. So I always remember a post test comes after you've learned things posterior, after. It's like what you see after you've seen the front of someone. That's how I connect that. This is Lucy's anterior. Ante means before. And a couple ways I remember this, the antechamber is like the entrance to another chamber. It comes before the real room. And the antebellum era happened before the Civil War. And anti-mortem injuries happened before someone died when you're looking at someone in an autopsy. So anti means before, and it goes with the front of the body because it's what you see before you see the back. That's how I remember it. To demonstrate posterior, this means the back side of the body. So I'm gonna need Lily to flip around. Okay, this is Lily's posterior. The back of her head, the back of her back, the back of her butt, the backs of her legs. All of this is posterior on Lily. Now, Rowan, will you also flip around? For Rowan, what's posterior is her booty and the backs of her legs. But you'll notice her back does not face us. So her back is not posterior. So it's really just this area that's posterior on her. Sorry about that. I just touched you. Okay, now they're going to flip around. Anterior is the front. So on a biped, it's the front of her face, her whole chest, her belly, the fronts of her legs. But on our quadruped... It's just the front of her face and the fronts of her limbs here. This has an anterior portion and her back legs also have a front side to them that's anterior. But her belly is not anterior the way the belly of the biped is anterior. Dorsal and ventral are almost the exact same as anterior and posterior in bipeds, but not in quadrupeds. They are more narrow though. So ventral is the tummy region. It just means belly. Dorsal is similar to posterior in a human, but it really just means back, as in the backbone. So the dorsal region is along the backbone of an animal. A lot of people remember this because of the dorsal fin of a fish or a dolphin. It's on their back. So ventral just means belly. So girls, touch your bellies. Okay, now, can you do that while you sit down? So her belly is facing down. That's her ventral region. It's not the same as her anterior region. Her anterior region is her front, but her ventral region's her belly. But on Lily, her ventral region is also anterior because this is her front and that's her belly. Now, post, no, dorsal. Dorsal is the next one. So dorsal means your literal backbone spine area. So on Rowan, her backbone, her dorsal area faces up. You can then flip around low. But on Lily, her dorsal region 
is also posterior because it faces behind. So it's this whole backbone from neck to tailbone, from neck to tailbone, and you can see their dorsal regions are the same as posterior in a biped, but not the same in a quadruped. It gets tricky when we get to proximal and distal. These ones are, are some of the hardest ones for people to learn, but they only refer to the limbs. That's the first thing to know. So the arms, legs, hands, uh, the appendages, that's the only time that you're gonna use proximal and distal. Proxim means close to something. So think about proximity or approximate, those mean close. And so what is it close to? What it's close to is the trunk of the body. So anything that's closer to the trunk of the body on a limb is proximal. The upper arm is more proximal than the forearm. The forearm is more proximal than the wrist. The wrist is more proximal than the fingers. But the most common use of this is on long bones that make up the appendages. So every long bone has a proximal end. This is the proximal end of the humerus. This, let's see, radius goes with the thumb. This is the proximal end of the radius. This is the proximal end of the ulna. And then even the phalanges and the metacarpals, each one has a proximal end. So the proximal end is just the one that's closer to the attachment point. So if you break, if you break something, they might say that you broke the proximal radius if it's up here. Distal is the opposite. So dist means distant, far, away from. And every long bone that makes up the appendage also has a distal end. So this is the humerus's proximal end. This is the humerus's distal end. This is the radius's proximal end. And this is the radius's distal end. This is the proximal end of this metacarpal. And this is the distal end of this metacarpal. And the distal end of this tip of the phalange is the very most distal part of this appendage, the tip of the final phalange. This is true on the leg too. It was just easier to demonstrate on the arm. Next up is superior and inferior. And these are not for the limbs really, they're for the trunk and the head. Um, superior means above. So if you think of someone who you think is superior to you, or they think you're superior, or you have a superior, it means above you. So you can look at anything that's on the trunk and see if it's above anything else. The, for instance, let's, let's look at me. The sternal region is above the umbilical region. So the sternal region is superior to the umbilical region. The nasal region is superior to the oral region. You can also use it on the back. The cervical vertebrae are superior to the thoracic vertebrae, which are superior to the lumbar vertebrae. Inferior means exactly the opposite. It means below. So if you think someone's inferior to you, you think they're below you. The lumbar vertebrae are inferior to the thoracic vertebrae, and those are inferior to the cervical vertebrae. My oral region is inferior to my nasal region. My sternal region is inferior to my oral region. My umbilical region is inferior to my sternal region. Okay, now medial and lateral. Medial means middle, and it's literally the middle of the body. If we split the body from the top of the skull down along the vertebrae, all the way down to the crotch, and we split the body in half. So the body is fairly symmetrical, and that midline that runs down the body is everything that runs along that midline is medial because it's in the middle. So the nasal region is medial, the sternum is medial, the belly button is medial, but if it's not in the middle, if it's farther away, that's when we use the term lateral. So the cheekbones are more lateral than the nasal region. And the clavicle, it has a medial end and it has a lateral end to it. Every rib has a medial end that's closer to the center and a lateral portion that's closer out to the sides. The scapula has a more medial portion that's more toward the vertebrae and a more lateral version or I'm sorry a more lateral portion that's further out every vertebrae has a more medial portion and a more lateral portion so it's just about how close it is to the middle and again we often use this to talk about a part of a particular bone 
So he might have broken his lateral left clavicle. That would mean the break was over here. Deep and superficial are the last terms, and they really refer mostly to wounds and organs. So anything that's going to be inside the rib cage is deep. If you can't get to it easily, it's deep. All of our abdominal organs, all of our uh, thoracic organs, everything inside the skull, the brain is deep. The skull is more superficial. So the things that are more on the surface are more superficial. And I remember that because superficial people only care about the surface. What do you look like? The skin is the most superficial organ because you can see it. You can literally touch someone else's. But the surface of the eye is also superficial. The tongue is superficial. And you sometimes talk about a wound in terms of how deep is the wound, or is it just a superficial wound, meaning it's just on the surface, it did not go very deep. There's a place on your handout to draw on the pictures, and I would really encourage you to circle areas, like for the ventral area, circle the tummy and show that it's ventral. On the back view, circle the backbone, show that that's dorsal. Um, but for some things, it makes more sense to use arrows. So for the arm, an arrow pointing this way that says proximal, an arrow pointing the other way that says distal, and you can do the same on the leg. Uh, for superior, inferior, go right here, an arrow pointing up is superior, an arrow pointing down is inferior. It's hard to show superficial and deep on those diagrams, but all of the other terms can be shown on the diagrams. And I gave you a quadruped as well so that you could compare, um, just because it has that, that four-legged um, perspective, so the ventral region is going to be different. We all hope this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe. Bye.